Now with these tutorials, I wanted to start breaking down even the littlest things, such as like the GSC injector I use for Black Ops 2. Now, this is a big thing I want to show you guys because it does have some weird things that a lot of people really don't understand, especially when they first get like a jailbroken PS3 from me and they're kind of like, yo, like it doesn't work. For one, like I want to kind of sit here and tell you guys that you have to troubleshoot. The whole thing about a jailbroken PS3 is to learn how to troubleshoot, is to learn how to use that jailbroken PS3 and how to really make it yours. And making it yours is finding menus, making sure that you know how to use those menus, doing your best to really start to make that jailbroken PS3 yours, you know, not just like the stock that it just came with, anything that it just came with, the preloaded stuff. I mean, that's always great. But I mean, like, you know, a lot of people really don't want to try to dive in and and uh, and really like learn on how to do the most basic things like this is why I make all these tutorials. So so for one, like you don't have to sit there and message me about it, email me about it, wait for me, because obviously there's uh, probably another 10 people that day that are asking me the same questions that you are that I'm just you know what I mean? That I'm trying to help out. These tutorials make me able to just show you really fast in a video, right? Now, once you load up a game on, on Black Ops 2, that's all you have to do. These two back buttons and triangle, you want to hold those down. Now, as you can see, this is what I was talking about. The menu doesn't come up, but we know it's there because of the FPS. That's the thing. So what we have to do is you just go into custom games. You go to start match. Nothing's going to come up, right? Like, look. So then we're going to end the game. Now, after we end the game, right, what I always suggest doing is backing out of that and then backing out right to this menu. And then we want to hold down both those back buttons and then press triangle and hold it down, right? Uh, the top right, that stuff just comes up because the PSN patch is installed. Now, when it comes up with this menu, it's going to obviously ask you for the different menus. And I'm just going to run this down real quick because I'll probably make another tutorial on how to use this menu and stuff. Because a lot of people really, they get so like uh, intimidated at the fact that they could break their console so easily. But if you read, I'm not trying to be like ignorant to nobody, but if you read what is on the screen, you can't go wrong. You know, you just, you never can. If it's something you completely don't understand, then just don't touch it. That just means that it doesn't need to be touched. That's all you need to do. You don't want dynamic, you press no. You don't want radiant, you press no. You just keep pressing no until you get to what you want, right? And then it's gonna wait. Look, it went back to the first one. So just in case, like this stuff, it's very, very easy to use. So let's just say we wanna use Jiggy, right? Because everybody likes to use Jiggy. And then after, after you press yes, I skipped over that. But after you press yes, wait. Let's say you wanna just press yes, right? Oh yeah. It's going to say select yes and press X to close and unload the BO2 injector and it can't be reopened, meaning you'd have to restart it, right? And then it says no, right? Uh, you just want it, you just want it to, to close out this screen so you could pull it up again, right? And then you could just press no. I always recommend just pressing no because you, you obviously want it to come back up sometimes, you know? But as I always say, after we inject a menu, you could simply just go into custom games. You can't just go online. I know a lot of people already know this stuff, but a lot of people don't. I get DMs all the time of people being very much confused why they can't just go right online. You need a force host. If you don't force host, you are not getting online. It's going to make somebody else host. And as you can see, the menu comes right up with uh, L1 and R3, right? I think it even tells you on the menu. I forgot uh, how to open the menus themselves. But yeah, it's a very basic tutorial that I just wanted to share with you guys. Now, if you guys haven't already checked out my PS3 jailbreak that I'm giving away, or the jailbreak of PS3 that I am giving away, that's all you have to do is donate a dollar. The more money you donate is the better chance you have. It's basically a spin wheel that I'm, I'm, I'm doing it live on the 30th on stream. And what I've been doing during the streams is that's all you do is donate to my Streamlabs link. And I'm probably going to link it in the description just for anybody that wants to get in, you know, late that really doesn't have time to watch streams and stuff. That's perfectly OK. I started to think about it. I was like, yeah, that could be just, you know, for the people that are about the streams. But by all means, you know, I understand if you don't have time and you just want to get in. It only takes one dollar to get in. Like I'm not lying or anything. It's just one dollar. And if you want to obviously spend like five to ten dollars, you're going to have the better chance than obviously the person that has the dollar. It's all a spin wheel. The more money you put in is the bigger of the part you have. It's like, think about it as like a pizza, right? Instead of having only one slice on there to land on, you'd have like two slices, right? 
I'm, I'm trying my best to explain it to you guys the best way I can. I think it's one of the coolest things in the world that I'm able to give back to you guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I hope you guys all have a fucking amazing day, though. Peace out, homies.